Hey Shadow Strider, we need an update on the part breaking build for the sword. Yes, I will make that, but can you guys just please say please? Please, motherfucker! Okay, okay, I'm making it, I'm making it! Hey everyone, your friendly high pitch fast talking Shadow Strider is back with an update to a sword build which I have been updating for almost 2 years now and by updating for almost 2 years I mean I constantly update it and make it viable for the next patch and the next patch and the next patch. It is my sword part breaker build and it has taken a new form, an evolution, it has digivolved and it can still kill Rizakari in 4 to 6 minutes and get you all of his body parts destroyed. Which means it can also kill almost any other behemoth with all of its parts destroyed and maximize your loot table. Before we start the quick shadow ads, you can now support me in both Dauntless Store and Epic Store by using my creator code Shadow Strider whenever you make a purchase. Simply type it in either the support the creator field or the creator tag field. I also stream both gaming and music composing on Twitch, so come join me sometime. Back on the build, you can find the link in the description if you either do not have time to fully watch this video, but if you do, then you will find how awesome this build is and enjoy the footage. For the weapon, we're going with the trusty Ember main sword with a cunning and conditioning cell in it. It will also provide you with an evasive fury perk and a unique effect which cuts through behemoth body parts. Each 7th hit deals 250% part damage, you will use reactive health mod and your Valent Overdrive special. Next, you will need Rezakari helmet with a cunning cell, Karabakh back chest with a blade storm cell, koshek gloves with a sharpened cell, karabat leggings again with a sharpened cell and finally a drask quantum with a conduit cell. I recommend you have all gear pieces at least to plus 6 so that this build can start working properly. At plus 6 you can use plus 1 cells and still get decent part breaks in a decent time. Of course, the best situation will be when you can get your items to plus 10 or when you have plus 3 cells since two of the perks are achieved only with cells. When everything is fully leveled you will have 6 fully maxed out perks which are Blade Storm, Conditioning, Conduit, Cunning, Evasive Fury and Sharpened. I'm already hearing people in the comments saying, Shadow Strider, this build is stupid, why are you not using Predator or Overpowered or some other damage increasing perk to increase your damage? And I'm already preparing my counter comments or counter arguments, but let me say this and make it as loud and as clear as possible. Actually, only as clear as possible since it's very early in the morning so I'd rather not scream like a drill sergeant. Part breaking builds are supposed to kill the behemoths with as many parts destroyed as possible. They're not supposed to kill the behemoths with a single or two parts destroyed as fast as possible. This build maximizes your part damage while also making sure you do not kill the behemoth too fast. If you increase your basic damage, you will also increase your part damage, but you will kill the behemoth faster which will reduce the amount of parts you can get at the end. More destroyed parts, more loot, more crafting and upgrading. And before you tell me that it's better to kill a behemoth faster and then kill him again while focusing a different part, no, it's not faster. This build can kill a Zachary in anywhere from 4-4.5 four, four minutes to 6-6.5 six, six minutes solo with all of his body parts destroyed. This is 7 part breaks including the tail gem. This will give you at least 10 or more crafting parts from him without the hunt pass bonuses. So if you want a fast killing build, I will make one soon, but this is for the people who want to farm those parts and craft and upgrade everything. I think the perks that we use are obvious, the main part damage will come from blade storm and sharpened. When you combine that with the sword mod and if you're able to make an evasive attack when you proc the sword unique effect, you can get part damage from 2000 up to 7 or 8,000 per hit. If I do the perfect math of the build, it can go up to 9 or even 10,000 power damage per hit, but that is very rare and requires a lot of skill and timing. Evasive Fury and Conduit will help you get more attack speed so that you can apply your unique effect more often. I complement this by using a Blitz Potion since I will occasionally get hit by the Behemoths which will increase my attack speed. Finally we have Cunning and Conditioning. One will give you even more damage and also boost your basic damage alongside the part damage since at the end of the day we do have to kill the behemoths after all and the second one will make sure you can evade and do your stamina sword combo without worry and give you a very quick stamina regeneration for evading purposes. The build works fine guys, 4 to 6 and even 7 minutes per solo kill with all parts destroyed on heroic plus behemoths is very very good. I even managed to kill Heroic Firebrand Shark with it in 6 minutes and destroy 6 of his body parts. This might not sound like an achievement to most of you, but do not forget that he has a Heroic modifier which reduces the part damage he takes, which means you usually kill him with 2 parts or less destroyed if you're not careful. Using this build 
is not complicated, you can use it only with a single combo of your choosing combined with evade attacks, which cannot get any more simple and easier than that. Anyways, this is everything for the build and this video. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give it a like or a dislike as you see fit and to also drop a comment with feedback or what you want to see in future videos down below. Also, remember to check the links in the description to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and Discord community and other social medias where I invite you to follow me or join me. Finally, of course, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. This is everything for me for this video. See you in the next one. Shadow Strider out. Take your time.